Tonight, drastic steps kick into high gear to stop a dangerous man who's been terrorizing women for months in Midtown Sacramento. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Elizabeth Kling. We first told you about the suspect last night who's also accused of at least one burglary. CBS 13's Laura Hafley is live in Midtown getting answers on what people are doing to protect themselves and, Laura, what the suspect's motives may be. Well, we have seen SAC PD marked units patrolling these streets tonight, but there's still some concern knowing that peeping Tom is prowling the area. People living in Midtown are taking extra precautions after multiple women say they've been targeted by a serial prowler. I can't put it into words of how awful and terrifying it is. The suspect has been seen peering into women's windows late at night for several months. He's also accused of breaking into Alicia Alvarado's apartment this week when she was in the shower. Now, Alicia and other Midtown residents are increasing security around their homes. Sometimes when stuff like this does happen, we do see a slight surge. Employees at Capital Ace Hardware in Midtown have some inexpensive tips to improve security. I would recommend using the dowel rods in the windows, motion lights by any of the windows, a jam buster that actually goes against the door. We see a lot of people coming in and doing that, especially people on the ground floor. And to deter this peeping Tom, their best advice? Adding something simple to your windows. So it's a privacy film that you can put on, and so it causes it to be reflective on the outside, but you can still see on the inside. Police say they've increased patrols in the neighborhood, but they are releasing few details on the investigation. The escalation in his actions is concerning to forensic neuropsychologist Dr. Judy Ho. A lot of people who are peeping toms, they derive a type of sick pleasure from making their victims feel afraid. One CBS 13 viewer has even offered to help pay to relocate the victims until the suspect is caught, but Alicia says she's not leaving. I feel like I I shouldn't have to move because this shouldn't be continuing to go on. I don't want to leave. I love Midtown. And we did ask SAC PD why they have not issued any public warnings on social media. They say it's in an effort to not compromise the investigation. 